Hello friends, this is like a take one million or something like that. I just keep messing stuff up. So what I have here is a meat bird chicken brooder. It's in the corner of my shop. And what I have done is I have put down a layer of cardboard so I can soak up all the, the poop and pee that the chickens will have. And I'm going to lay down some pine shavings on top of it because that's more appropriate. And the cardboard is also going to insulate from that cold concrete floor. I found this fence on the side of the road. Um, it's got small gaps at the bottom that the chicks can't get through. And then it gets bigger as you go up to the top. If you know what kind of fence this is, what name it is, just put a comment down below. I don't know what it's called. I just saw a use for it, so I just picked it up. And now, I tacked it onto um, some scrap wood that I had laying around that I got from some pallet wood last season. All right, let's get in here. And again, just, yeah, I'm gonna secure that on there. That needs to happen. Um, I just drilled the wood to this just so there wouldn't be a gap here because it just worked out to be a gap. And then I tacked very roughly. It's gonna be easy to remove. I just tacked the fence on this board. And I did that all the way around. What I did. So, so far I got uh, cardboard that was going to be recycled anyway. I have some scrap wood that didn't really have a purpose and some um, picked some stuff off from the side of the road. Somebody giving stuff away free. And so, like I said before, I'm going to get some uh, Cornish cross meat birds and put in here. I have my waterer. Okay. I converted my chicken coop into a five gallon bucket watering system. Um, it's working out well. I didn't record the video, probably been nice, but there's plenty of those available anyway. I'm gonna put all of my pine shavings down to, to um, make the place a little more home for the chicks. And this is a heat lamp. Um, I had this heat lamp when I got my original laying chickens um, last year. And so I just got it hanging up and actually there's a a uh, seed spreader hanging from a hook and uh, yeah I was gonna move it but then I was like hey you know what I'm just gonna wrap this cord around this wheel and play it right into here you know very makeshift it's going to get the job done and after a week I can just clean it up and get rid of all the stuff but you can do something where you are. No, no matter what you have or what you don't have, there is a solution to get things done. And so I want to learn how to do some meat chickens. Okay. Um, in the short to medium term, I want to get some property and I would like to do a lot more meat chickens and maybe um, raise some livestock and do some other stuff. Well, I need to learn how to do that. This is going to be another step to learn how to do that. Last year, I learned how to um, keep chickens um, in a coop and get uh, you know six eggs a day. I learned how to do that. Well, the next thing I want to learn is doing some meat chickens. So guys, go out there, do something to make yourself more self-sufficient, more resilient, stronger, that in the face of trouble or whatever, it's unemployment, uh, Whatever trouble comes your way, you know, it could be anything. I can't tell you what trouble's going to come your way, but trouble will come your way. But it'll make you more resilient. It doesn't have to be meat chickens. It doesn't have to be egg laying chickens. It could be, you know, planting some tomatoes in the backyard or, you know what, I've never grown something ever before. I'm going to plant basil in a flower pot and put it in the window. There is something you could do to progress forward to get some skill to better yourself. And, you know, that just makes the world a better place. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you know what kind of fence this is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I understand how makeshift this is, and it was intended to be that way. I'm not going to build a permanent structure. Not yet. Now, um, will I build a permanent structure if I had the land and space and time and money to do so? Yes, I would. But right now, that is not the best use of time money. So this is what I'm doing, guys. Take care. God bless you. Have a great day.